The movie happens in a post-apocalyptic era where a mysterious event wiped out most of the animals and crops across the world and soon earthquakes starts to happen and wildfires engulfed the world and made the resources scarce and most of the civilization have collapsed and humans were sent back to their basic survival and the world is getting darker and colder. The roads are filled with gangs looking for food and fuel and the greatest fear of all is cannibalism. In the opening scene we were introduced to a man and boy whose names were unknown. They are walking through the road searching for food. The man remembers that when this event happened the clock stopped at exactly 1.17 a.m. and he also lost the count of days. He hardly guesses that it is October 1st day while they were walking along they see old barn and goes into it to find some food. But to their dissatisfaction they couldn't find any. Instead they find a family of corpses who committed suicide by hanging after not finding anything inside they got out, and the man shows the boy a gun with only two rounds left. They are the last ones they had. Then the man tells his son this is the last resort they had. If the things got much more desperate the man puts the gun in his mouth and shows his son how to use the gun. Later he starts to remember things from past. The man's wife relaxes besides a piano while he was making food while eating. She realizes that she was about to give birth but she doesn't want to birth cause she is scared of the survival of the baby due to the outside conditions. But the man ignores her objection and he keeps pushing until she gives birth to the boy. Later the man wakes up in an abandoned car after hearing engine sounds approaching they see the gang members approaching and they runs into the woods to hide and one of the gang members who is taking a leak near nearby discovers them. The man points gun towards the gang member and threatens to shoot him if he calls out for his friends. But the gang member doesn't think the man can kill him and asks him if he ever killed anyone before. And he also tries to bait them by saying he can feed them. But the man doesn't believe when a sound comes from the truck. The gang member takes this as a chance and gets a hold onto the boy. The man immediately shoots the gang member and runs away by taking the boy who got unconscious. He goes into the bushes with his son and hides there for the night while the gang members are searching for the one that killed one of them. Next day he goes to find his things that he left and he notices the gang member's severed head and organs scattered all over who he killed yesterday. Then he remembers memories again. His wife gives him two bullets and tells this is all they have got, and she regrets not taking her life when they have more ammunition. And she tells him that they should shot themselves before being caught up by the gangs and get abused by them before getting killed. And Eden and she says that other families are doing it and they should too. The man pleads his wife and tells to stop thinking about giving up. But the wife doesn't want to keep living and she's stressed that she wants to take her son with her. Later that night the man tells his kid the one they shot earlier is a bad guy and it is not wrong to kill him. And he tells him to keep carrying the fire with him. And that's what good guys do next day. They go to an abandoned site and he finds a can of coke and gives it to his son. They eventually ran out of food and they are starving during their rest stop. The boy says that he wished he should have been with his mother when the man asks his son whether he wishes that he was dead. The boy says yes the man tells him that he shouldn't say those kind of things and tells him to stop thinking about her. After the boy slept the man went to a bridge and throws away his wallet along with a picture of his wife. And when he is getting rid of his wedding ring he recalls the last memories of his wife. He begs his wife to stay with him but his wife lost the hope of surviving and determined to leave. She even refused to say goodbye to the boy before leaving. She tells him to keep the boy warm and go south with him to survive walks out of the house leaving them and goes into the dark. The man recalls that his wife died somewhere in the darkness. They continue their journey to south and on their way they find a big house and go into it looking for supplies. While checking they find a door to sell her in the kitchen floor. Locked he find under outside and breaks the lock with it. They go into the cellar and finds people starving. And they run out when a man started running after them. After getting out they closes the door while trying to leave. The boy sees the residents of the house there and they both runs to upstairs and hides in the bathroom. The man forces his son to take the gun but his son refuses. As soon as the man hears the residents approaching he points a gun towards his son preparing to kill him to keep the boy from ending up like the people in the cellar. But after hearing the knocking sound from the basement the residents goes to check it. The man takes this as a chance and he runs out with his son and hides in the field. He waits there until it gets dark and he takes his son and gets out of there after it gets dark. They both stop another place to eat the remaining food they got left. After eating the last piece of food the boy asks assurance from his father that they would never eat a human no matter how hungry they get. 
The man tells that they are already starving and they still wouldn't eat anyone. The boy gets satisfied hearing this and tells that they are the good guys cause they are carrying fire with them next day while walking they stop at a house where the man grew up. They go inside and the man shows him around and tells him how he used to live in this house. The boy tells to stop reliving those moments inside later the boy looks at the apartment in front of him and sees a boy there when he tries to follow him. The man comes and catches his son. He tries to tell his father he saw a little boy but his father doesn't believe him and takes him away from there. He told that he once has friends too but they are all gone now and they continue their journey and the man's health is deteriorating and slowly dying. They ran out of food and they are starving. He is trying to prepare the boy for the day he is gone. They get into a house where the and see a piano he plays a few notes and he remembers his wife and tells his son his mother is used to play piano and she is very good at it while they are leaving the house. After finding nothing inside they finds a door to a bunker in the yard. They both gets down into the bunker and finds a lot of supplies there which last for a very long time and they eat to their full after a very very long time and they thank the people that the bunker belongs to and they decide to make it their home while eating. They hears a dog sound outside bunker and they decide to leave the place thinking it is no longer safe here. Next day they load as much as food they can into a cart and leaves the place and continues their journey on their way. They see an old man walking along he sees them and says that he has got nothing for them to take to which the man replies they are not robbers the boy gives him a can of food to eat which the old man gladly accepts. Then man tells his son they can't take the old man with them but he invites the old man to have dinner with them. Then the old man tells his name is Eli and they continue their journey later that night. Eli and the man talks about the boy. Eli tells that he has seen an angel when he first saw that boy and tells he had a son once and says hasn't seen a little boy in a long time. When the man asks what happened to his son, Eli says that he doesn't talk about it when the man asks him if he ever wanted to die. Eli replies that dying is a luxury that he no longer afford to ask for in this world. Next day the old man goes on his own way and the man leaves with his son. The boy tries to convince father to take Eli with them, but the father tells they had done enough for him and it is time to take care of their own. When they get into woods they see a blood trail and then sees some gang members chasing a woman along with a boy. They run deep into the woods while hearing the women's screams. Then suddenly an earthquake hits the place. The man and his son take cover at a fallen tree to avoid the other falling trees. The man's health is getting even worse as the days pass by, but despite all of this they continue their journey and reaches the seashore, but their imaginations turned out to be wrong. When they see the beach in a filthy condition the man finds a shipwreck in the sea near to the shore and he decides to go in there to find anything useful. Then he gives his gun to the boy before going, but he soon falls asleep. As soon as the man leaves someone approaches the boy with a knife in his hand and takes away all the things they had. The boy wakes up and finds all their things are gone. The man returns to the shore with a flare gun and sees someone stole their things. He picks the boy up and goes chasing the thief. He points his gun towards the thief and makes him leave the cart. He takes away all the things the thief stole from them. And he also takes his clothes and goes from there leaving the thief naked. The boy fights with his father cause he is the one who is acting like a bad guy now and they go back to the place and couldn't find the thief. So the boy leaves his clothes there with a can of food and they continues to travel. Later they arrive to Ravage Town and the boy shows his father a bug that he found while they are looking at it one shoots him with an arrow they quickly take cover and the man traces the projectile and shoots the flare gun towards that direction he goes into the room and sees a woman who is weeping over a man who was hit by the flare he asks her why she is following them to which the women replies they are the ones following her the man leaves and he tends to his wounds before leaving on their journey but his health becomes even more worse than he falls down while walking through the shore and they set a camp on the beach the man starts to have dreams of being with his wife. His health became even worse than he tells his son to keep moving on and he hands him the gun and tells that he will find good guys on his way if he keeps going. The boy tells that he wants to go with him but the man insisted him to keep living and find the good guys and eventually the man dies after his father's death. The boy decides to continue his journey and he sees a stranger approaching him with a gun. He tells he is a good guy and asks the 
boy to put the gun down and tells the boy to come with him. He gives the boy two choices to come with him or stay on the beach with his father. The stranger tells the boy to stay off the road. If he decides to move on his own, the boy asks him if he has any kids to which he tells. He have two kids about his age a boy and a girl and a stranger assure the boy he doesn't eat people. When the boy hardly asks the stranger if he is carrying the fire with him, stranger says yes the boy says goodbye to his father and goes with the stranger. He takes the boy with him to a woman. The woman tells him that she has been following them for a while and she is worried about him. The boy looks at the children and a dog and feels reassured. He is in good hands and the boy decides to join them. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe the channel and also click the bell icon to receive new video notifications.